everyone, it's Deli here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be making a starter micro home, which I'm excited about. I actually built this off camera. I mean, well, I'm building it on camera, obviously, but I built this for a single sim I was playing with off camera quite regularly. I like to sit down and play the game just for me and I have uh, off camera households that I don't share all the time on YouTube. And you can see my sim there. She's like a power independent sim who wants to start off with no cheats in life and just make uh, make money herself. And I thought starting in a tiny home was a good idea or in a micro home to be more specific. And yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with building micro homes. Uh, I think people are probably at this stage thinking, why does she keep doing this? Is it just because it gets more views on YouTube? Uh, I mean, not that that would be a problem if it was my reason, but I honestly just like, I really like building micro homes. Uh, I just, oh, it's so much fun. I'm actually even looking into, oh, looking into, I'm not even at that point. I'm just at the point of initially considering if I could ever build a small home in real life for myself. Uh, and I was kind of getting into that idea. And if I ever did that, I would love to have windows in the apex of a roof, just like I've done here. So that was actually the reason why I downloaded uh, the window custom content in this, to be able to have those windows in the roof line. Because I am thinking of in The Sims building my dream in real life, like home, but in The Sims. So designing something in The Sims that maybe one day I could build in real life. So if you guys wanna see that video, just let me know. But yeah, I've been really obsessed with tiny homes. Tiny Living Pack has just given uh, myself and I think a lot of you guys so much joy in playing The Sims. And I really think it's probably because of the lot type requirements and lot perks that come with this stuff pack. So just to quickly tell you guys what that is, in case you don't know, this stuff pack actually came, you can see on the left here, with the tiny home lot type. So if you build a tiny home within the three tiers instructed on the left, uh, you actually get lot perks if you stay within that tile count. So we got to tier one for this build. And the reason why I love using tier one is because the perks on the lot are so good. You gain relationships more quickly, you build skills more quickly, and you also can grow things more easily on the lot. Uh, and there's a couple of other things. So this is such a good way to start off a new game save file when your sim has no skills and no money because you can build up that income and that skill building really quickly as well as make them more social. I mean, wouldn't it be great if this existed in real life? <laughs> like you live in a small house for a little while as you're a young adult and you know, it kickstarts your life. You make friends, you, you gain skills more quickly. That would be so good. Um, but that's why I really love these tiny homes and why I decided to start my off-camera game save like this. I'm about to cough, so I'm gonna drink some tea. I got something in my throat. So um, yeah, basically this build is going to use a little bit of custom content. It actually uses a lot of custom content because uh, of the sheer size of this. The custom content fills up basically the whole thing. So if you wanna download this, uh, you'll need the Sims Kia, CC pack, and you will also need the windows, which is by <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I just coughed then. I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> um, these windows are by Peacemaker, and I want to give a shout out to Doro or Doro on Twitter for linking me to this, and I think someone else also linked me to it as well. Um, and some of you guys also linked me to another lot of windows that looked quite good too. Um, oh yeah, Katie Martin was the other person. So thanks for responding to that tweet, asking for them. But yeah, in here, oh my gosh, my coughing throat is so... Uh. Anyway, so I thought uh, the interior of this would be very Ikea inspired. I wanted to use a lot of that Ikea pack, particularly because I love the counters in it. Uh, I find this custom content, the windows and the Sims Kia pack to be very good in terms of staying close to the Maxis Match aesthetic. I would say maybe in the Sims Kia pack, a uh, couple of the, was it the tables? Maybe it was the table and some of the little stools look 
ever so slightly out of place in the game. I think it's because of the thinness of the legs on the little stools maybe, and the little tables and like the height. Uh, maybe I'm not all as into using those items, but I think like the benches are really, really good. Um, and like the kitchen stuff and the bathroom stuff to be really, really good. So definitely recommend that. And these windows are pretty much flawless in the game. I don't think you could pick that was custom content. So the windows are both downstairs and upstairs on the apex, like in the roof apex. Uh, so yeah, if you're open to a bit of custom content, I'll link them down below. Thank you to the creators of the custom content too, because I really loved using this. <laughs> So this, uh, this build is for my sim and I have used this build to play off camera. Really, really liked it. And I've actually built my sim up in one day to almost finish the, um, the wealth aspiration. I forget which one it is. Not the mansion baron one, the other one. Uh, she's almost completed that. She ended up creating like a rose farm uh, and she has had a few romances. Uh, she actually had a very saucy affair. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, these Ikea stools right here. The legs seem a little thin. I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe it is totally Max's match to people who have a better eye. But to me, I thought the chairs looked slightly out of place in the game. Um, but anyway, I still think they look good in this build. I'm just... I don't know, I just felt like I should say, in case you guys are really fussy about Max's match, that might be the only thing you dislike about this custom content, but it's pretty good. She also had a couple of romances here, so I did get a woohoo bush, uh, poohoo bush, and I also decided to knock down the half wall that you can see now and put in the Murphy bed when she had a bit more cash. So it's really, really easy to knock down that wall move, I think it was the dining table a little bit further down. You just stick the Murphy bed on the back wall. You only need half a tile on either side of the Murphy bed for your Sims to be able to get in and out of it from both sides. So that works fine in that space. So yeah, uh, I think it worked pretty well. It was definitely inspired by Ikea, like I said, lots of timber or like the washed out timber look and feel. Uh, there's a bathroom with a shower. The sink is just in the kitchen. So use the kitchen sink to wash your hands. Uh, but yeah, I think it, I think it worked out really well, and for gameplay, it's pretty easy to use. Yeah, good micro home. So it's on the gallery right now under the username Deligracy. Make sure to turn on Show Custom Content if you're on your PCs to download it. Obviously, those of you guys on console, I'm really sorry this build is not one for you to download. Uh, but I need to do a base game build soon for you guys on console. I owe you guys a console build, or maybe just like a normal sims build without any cc attached to it it's just kind of annoying because all of my builds and sims get flagged with cc even though sometimes i don't use any cc and you guys on console are like i can't download anything because it's still flagged uh and if you're on pc you can still download uh builds and families with custom content it just means that they won't have those items when you're in your game so Say if you download a sim who's got all of these lashes and cool hair that's all CC and you don't have any of that CC, when you go into your game, your sim's just going to be bald uh, without eyelashes, but they'll have everything else. So you don't need to worry about CC being downloaded into your computer. Uh, you can still download anything and just replace it yourself. But on console, it's annoying because they don't even let you download it, I don't think. So that's why I need to turn off all CC when I upload some things to the gallery so you guys on console can be treated to some deligracy builds and families in your life, you know? I'm thinking of you. I will do it. I will do it for you. <laughs> it's really not that hard. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much coming towards the end of this little, this little build. I'm liking it a lot. I like the windows. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? And what else was I gonna say? Oh, I think I also might make a video soon about uh, the Game Changer program at Electronic Arts. Uh, just because recently there's been so many um, kind of, oh, there's been a lot of criticism recently about being in the Game Changer program. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a program that Electronic Arts, who makes The Sims, uh, has created for all of their game titles where influencers can be invited or apply for the program. It just means that 
you get games for free to review so you don't have to pay for them and sometimes there'll be like opportunities uh, for trips or reviews before things are released. So that's what it is, um, but there seems to be a lot of confusion about it. People get really like upset about when I do a review video, they're like, not many of you, just some of you seem to just really think that if you're in a game changer program that you've signed some contract that you have to say good things or like, you're too scared you're gonna get kicked out, so you're not gonna say anything bad. And I just really wanna explain to anyone who's confused what it actually is and, you know, that it has nothing to do with how you review a game because they have it so you can review, whether it's positive or negative. Um, and I'm kind of getting a little bit tired of the negative comments just because I like saying nice things about the game because I genuinely really like the game and I don't know when I've criticized the game people seem to forget that I'm ever critical and just say you always say positive things when it sucks <laughs> so I might also do just like a little chilled out video about that not like tea but just setting the record straight I feel because it's just it's just a bit of a shame when there's misunderstanding about things when it's actually a really helpful thing for a lot of creators. It's also helpful for you guys if you do need to know if something's worth buying, you know, or purchasing. Um, it's actually really nice to get people's reviews about it, especially if it's before it comes out and you just wanna get it as soon as possible, then you can. So yeah, I might, I might do that soon, um, just to, you know, just to give you guys a little bit more understanding because there's clearly a little bit of confusion. But yeah, back to the build anyway. Just putting a little bit of landscaping in. Uh, I kept it really simple. I put this house on quite a big lot because I wanted room to expand. And I also wanted to do a little bit of gardening uh, and make money that way just with that gardening perk that you have in the micro home. And I'm actually really thinking that I'd like to do the video about uh, if I was to build a micro home in real life, designing it in The Sims, what it could look like with these windows. Because I think a micro home in real life with that kind of window design would be so nice. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll maybe try that. But we're gonna get into the screenshots. I'm also going to upload a build in a couple of days showing um, what this Sim updated to, like she ended up moving house and I built a whole new house for her that wasn't a tiny home. So for those of you guys wanting a bigger home or like a second home for your Sims, uh, I've also uploaded that too and we'll have a speed build of it soon on the channel. But yeah, here is the tiny home. We got a little forestry station. Here's the interior, very nice, very tiny, but very nice. Uh, actually, those stools look pretty good there. Uh, Ikea cabinets looking good. Chairs from Island Living, I think. Rug from Strangerville. Little Ikea box there with the tiny living bookshelf in it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave now because I have indigestion. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Dag, dag.